All right, for today's vlog, I want to say, I guess my mom and my my brother, Kevin Forrest Pearson Jr., is going to marry that bitch that he hates. So, today I want to say the two stories, and we'll start with what he says when she's sitting there next to him. And I guarantee you, after I um, do some things on Instagram, putting... People from Blair as close friends on there. That once they watch this um, YouTube blog that there's going to be a lot of talk and there won't be a wedding like they're planning in October because she'll break up with him. Um, I guess like when she's around he says how much he loves her and plans on this and that with her. And says good things like he... He said when she was there once that, oh, and this is when she's sitting there next to him, oh, that it was her brother that stole her work clothes, and then he said, like, oh, that her sister has kids and that, mm. and that now he's saying that she's working at the nursing home again. Now, here's what he says when she's not around. My parents don't know any of this. He says that Shamila beats him up, kicks him in the nuts, punches him in the eyes, and threatens him and forces him to eat guacamole, which he hates, he says. And then he says he that her, her whole family's crazy. He has said... Um, that it was her father that stole her work clothes and was kicked out of that house. He also has said that Shamila had quitted her job at the nursing home and is only working at Quick Trip. And now you don't hear of her working at Quick Trip. So, I, I don't know. The story keeps changing, obviously, like I said. And he said, you know... Also, that he, her sister does not have any kids. And he said that she does not have a brother, but then all of a sudden this talk about her having a brother, I'm like, okay. He has called her behind her back when he talks to this drinking buddy on the phone. I don't know who the guy is on the phone, but we'll leave it at that. <laughs> when um, Joe's girlfriend, Krista Bethhauser's um, brother, Brett, went through a breakup, my brother told his drinking boy on the phone this, that he will break up with Shamila until soon. He will go after, he'll dump her and ask out right in front of her, the waitress that works at Denny's. And he said something that this waitress at Denny's is skinnier, Older and hotter looking than Shamula. And then his drinking buddy said, Do you know if this waitress is married? Do you know if this waitress has a boyfriend? Do you know if this waitress has kids? Kevin said no. So his drinking buddy obviously started laughing at him on the phone. And then he said, If you break up with Shamila, you would cry, he said. And Kevin said, oh, no, 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 I won't. I won't be bothered because she's nothing but a goddamn fucking bitch hog. And she's fat. And she's bitchy. She's too control of. She bosses me around. I want nothing to do with her. I don't even have plans of marrying her. I have plans of marrying that waitress at Denny's. And then he talks about Jaime's girlfriend. Too, to his drinking buddy. He's also said this. And of course, just so y'all know, I'm just repeating what I've overheard him saying and what he's told me. Now, what he said about Jaime's girlfriend, he said, Oh, she's cute, but she always flirts with me. Oh, I guess she knows that I have a girlfriend, but she wants me to have sex with her while she's dating Jaime. She said, oh, you can run off with me when Jaime's not around, and you can run off when Shamel is at work. And he goes, oh, 
She's cute, but uh, I'm not really interested in her. That is what he said. You know? And then he said stuff like... And and he said to... His drinking buddy said, you know... Shama Antos is crazy. You should probably dump her real soon like you want to. Why don't you just dump her now and get it done and over with? Rather than waiting. And Kevin said, oh... I'll, I'll dump her. I'll dump her in front of my cousin Joe and his girlfriend Krista. I'll leave her at a goddamn bar... Was no ride. That's what he said. He said, oh, I'll laugh at her. I'll be happier. I'll get a girlfriend the next day. That's what he thinks. And then he says, you know, to his drinking buddy on the phone. And they, all, and they both call Shamiel crazy. And he says, not all there. And he says... You know, I would love to hang out with you, the drinking buddy says to Kevin on the phone. But I don't want Shamel around since she's fucking crazy and insane and not all there. And Kevin said, oh, I'll, I'll see if I can without her. Oh, uh, but she might threaten me and make me take her. Oh, and then she makes me go to these parties I don't really want to go to. I hate her friends. They're all... Uh, I don't know how he put it, but he called them bitches, basically. And then he talks about more like... This is where I can get deeper about the waitress he talks a lot about. He says that this waitress would understand him better than Shamila and not be bossy like Shamila. He has pointed out to his drinking buddy... That this waitress would let him go hunting whenever he wants. Let him do whatever the goddamn hell he wants. And tell, and he thinks that this waitress will let him have as many vehicles as he wants. So, but I never heard of what color hair this waitress has. Skin color, eye color, how tall she she is. I suspect his drinking, but he knows more about this waitress that works at Denny's, either in Black River Falls or Toma, than what I have heard about her. Even before Shama flipped out, thinking that my brother was going to cheat on her and go after my niece, Jessica K. Eliason, that, you know... He said that Shamil threatened him, telling him he cannot be a groomsman in my wedding. And if he did, they're through, is what she told him. And he told this to his drinking buddy on the phone. And he said he didn't know what to do. She's fucking crazy. And he said, you know, he pretty much didn't have a choice. And then he said, you know, even to me way beforehand, he wanted to break up with Shamla, but he didn't know how. And this was during the first year that they met. And he said, he hates her guts. Her whole family's crazy. He's he's told me, he's told me how abusive she is to him and he wants out of that relationship. That's what he's told me. And... He, you know, and then after he's told me all this, I don't want anything to do with her. I don't want to be around her. She will never, ever be a sister-in-law to me. She will never be an aunt to my future children. She ain't welcomed around our family. And I hate to say it. When her side finds this all out, they're going to say to her, you're better off meeting a different guy. Marry him. Because the way this sounds, you're not welcomed around their family. Our parents even said to Kevin when Shamla was not there that they felt that Shamla Antos was just using him. And I see where they, 
they have a point, and, and I see it. She's just using them to get that house. And I, and I have a feeling she's trying to get money out of him. I hope that she finds out about this before they get married so he doesn't lose half his money. And I hope that house ain't in both their names because he's going to lose that house. He's going to get kicked out. He, I guess, even I've seen Shayla Antos cheating on my brother while he was at work. I should have taken a picture of her cuddling with that guy in the back of a red truck. It wasn't my brother, I'll tell you that for sure. It wasn't in my brother's truck. Because she looked it worried. And she was trying to hide her face when she's seen that I seen her. So, like I said, um, when I caught her... I should have taken that picture, then I would have had proof to show on him that she's cheating on him. The bad part is, once everybody finds out about this, I don't know why Kevin's saying two different stories. Because he said to us that she quitted the nursing home, and then all of a sudden yesterday she's saying she's working at the nursing home. So, I don't know. He's saying two different stories. He, he's saying how god-awful she is. And I'll tell you this, on day one, he never should have gotten me involved in seeing how bad she is to him. I don't want to do his drinking buddies. Because I guess even his drinking buddy admitted on the phone that he's heard two different stories, and it all depends on if she's there or not with him. So, and he talks about wanting to marry this waitress that works at Denny's. But it also sounds like he doesn't really talk to this waitress. But it sounds like he's still continuously talking to Jaime's girlfriend and letting her flirt with him. 